Hey everyone, welcome back to podcast 8.2. Uh, we've taken a look at what alleles and what genes are, and now we need to start describing these genes and alleles. We don't always talk about genes, um, you know, unless you're a molecular biologist. But, uh, so we're, we're going to be talking about these things called genotypes and phenotypes. And alleles, can okay, remember that word from yesterday? This is one of a pair of genes are expressed as a genotype and a phenotype. Okay, so we've got this thing called a genotype and a phenotype. The genotype is the actual genetic GNE or the the genetic makeup of a trait of a trait or a physical appearance. Um, so these are the genes, so these are the alleles that work together to uh, show a trait. So you've got a dominant allele and a recessive allele and they are working together. The dominant will take over and show its trait or the recessive won't have any dominance to compete with and it will show its trait. Uh, so the genotype is the actual genetic makeup of that trait. What are the genes? What are, what's the dominance? What's the recessiveness? The phenotype is the physical appearance. So if we know what the genes are, we know what the alleles are, what does it manifest as? What does it look like? A uh, little trick to remember, genotype goes with genetic. Okay, the Gs go together. With phenotype, it is the physical. Okay, so that pH sound sticks together. Uh, we can describe traits based on these alleles, right? Uh, one is always dominant. So we see that phenotype. So remember from the other day, if you had dark hair, it's because you had a dark dominance for your hair color. Uh, and remember, even if, if we even have one dominant allele, you only need one, you see that trait. Uh, and there's, there's two ways we can describe this. If we have two of the same alleles, so for example, if we have two dominant alleles together, that is called homozygous. Homo, the prefix homo means the same. Um, zygous uh, has to do with genetics, so we're saying that this has the same gene pattern or the same alleles. A mixture of alleles, so this would be like dominant, dominant, or recessive, recessive. They have to be the same. <clears throat> uh, if we have a mixture of alleles, that is called heterozygous. H-E-T-E-R-O, zygous. So again, the prefix hetero, meaning two different, uh, this one can only be a dominant recessive mixture. And we can show this graphically. We can look at it um, in a graphical representation. And we're going to use this square to describe what we've got. So let's look at the trait for height. Um, for height, you can either be tall or you can be short. Uh, and we're going to get into how to do these things. This is called a Punnett square. This is the next section in the podcast. So don't stress about how I'm doing what I'm doing just yet. Just follow along, write down what I'm doing, and then we'll explain it some more in the next one. We're going to assign variables to, this, uh, to these genotypes. And we're going to use a capital T because tall will be dominant. So capital T. And when we're showing the recessive trait, we use the same letter as the dominant trait, but we show it as a lowercase. So a capital T is the dominant trait for tall. Okay, this is dominant. And the lowercase t is the recessive trait. And remember, you have two traits together that they work together to show what the phenotype is. So that's why we've got two squares here. So this would be parent one. And this is going to be parent two. Okay. So let's say parent one, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is the recessive component. So this parent is short. To see short, they have two lowercase alleles, two recessive alleles. Parent two, this is going to be the tall parent. And we're going to do these, or show these, as two dominant 
alleles. Okay, so a dominance here means that this parent is tall. Two recessive alleles here means that this parent is short. And what we do is we just fill in our boxes. So, the do so this trait, parent two, goes all the way across. So eight, each box is going to have a capital T. They move over. And down here, you're going to have the same thing. Parent one, then, the T's drop down. The lowercase T's drop down. So this is a lowercase T. And this is also a lowercase T. So each of these boxes represents an offspring, right, or a child of these parents. We can look at the gene combinations and, and describe what the phenotype will be. We know what the genotype is by doing the cross. This is called a cross. Um, and we can determine what the phenotype is. Now remember, if you have even one dominant trait, you're going to see that dominant allele, right? If you have one dominant allele, rather, you're going to see that dominant trait. So each of these children have a tall allele in them. That means all of the children are going to be tall. So down here at the bottom, okay, what is the phenotype of each of the offspring? They are all going to be tall because they each have that dominant trait or that dominant allele because each has a dominant allele. Uh, up at number one, based on the square above, based on this cross, what is the genotype of each of the offspring? Okay, we can write either capital T, lowercase t, but using our vocab from up here, okay, are they going to be homozygous or heterozygous? Remember, homo means it's the same, so both the parents are homozygous, but each of the children then, I have a dominant and a recessive, they are going to be heterozygous. and they're heterozygous and the phenotype that we see is dominant. So the first term tells us what the genotype is, are they homozygous or heterozygous? The second one tells us what we're going to see or which allele we're going to see. So this cross gives four offspring that are heterozygous dominant. Um, so again, a lot of vocabulary coming at you. Do not stress yet um, how to do these crosses. Just look at the pattern and how we can take two parents, cross them together, or mix their alleles, and, and predict what the offspring would be. Uh, so again, just a quick review of um, new vocabulary. We've got two alleles. Um, if they're the same, they're going to be homozygous, and you can be either dominant-dominant, like here, or you can be recessive-recessive, like here. Or you can be heterozygous like all of these offsprings. So you have a dominant and a recessive means it's heterozygous. And by looking at that, we can determine what are the, the phenotypes or the genotypes of the offspring going to be.